Uh, good morning, everybody. I am uh, Dr. Sanjita Chadha Devasthari, and my topic for uh, presentation today is CPAP or NIV interfaces. Uh, let's go over some basics. Delivery of mechanical ventilation to lungs using techniques that do not require the use of an endotracheal tube or a tracheostomy tube is uh, non-invasive ventilation. Basic goal is to help provide distension of the lungs, thereby preventing collapse of the alveoli and the terminal airways, mainly during expiration. The CPAP reflects a positive pressure applied throughout the respiratory cycle to the airways of a spontaneously breathing new, uh, baby. However, P prefers to positive pressure applied during the expiratory phase of respiration to a mechanically ventilated unit. Let's go over some physiological benefits of uh, non-invasive ventilation. It helps to improve oxygenation, improved CO2 washout and therefore a better blood pH. It stimulates the J receptors. It, has, it provides with a better pneumocyte function, helps recycling of surfactant and also helps in early recovery from highline membrane disease. There is better ventilation perfusion match. There is improved minute ventilation and decreased work, work of breathing and it helps to splint the chest wall. It maintains optimal pulmonary vascular resistance by uh, providing optimal FRC. Uh, Non-invasive ventilatory support, we will be mainly focusing on the high flow nasal cannula on our uh, CPAP devices and uh, non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, uh, BiPAP and high, high, uh, high frequency ventilation. Uh, this is a pictorial diagram. Air, oxygen and a blender is a prerequisite for neonatal ven ventilation. So in the HFNC, there is an air oxygen uh, 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 tube, there is a blender, there is a, heat, a heater humidifier, which provides the heated humidified air via, via the inspiratory limb and the interface to the baby. In bubble CPAP, the pressure generated in the respiratory circuit is via the immersion of the expiratory limb in the uh, uh, water and the, to a desired level of the water. And via the interface, the pressure and oxygen are provided to the baby. In the BiPAP, uh, in the uh, conventional uh, bubble CPAP, that is why using a ventilator, the valve mechanism is used. In the BiPAP machine, the inspiratory, expiratory limb, both are attached to the BiPAP machine and we provide the uh, two different pressure, higher pressure during uh, uh, inspiration and the lower one during expiration. Uh, let us uh, now individually review the cannulas. Uh, HFNC works by providing inhaled gases at flows higher than the inspiratory demand flow. This leads to washout of the upper air airway, reduces the uh, physiological dead space and decreases the nasopharyngeal airway resistance. It also provides variable positive and expiratory pressure and works by decreasing the work of breathing. But as delivering HFNC requires a loosely fitting prongs, as sir pointed out yesterday, we cannot have a, have a snugly fit, fit prongs for providing HFNC uh, to the patient. So the pressure delivery is not very reliable. The HFNC cannula is uh, small, it is breathable, it is crush resistance tubing, it is tapered, tapered anatomically contoured, it, it has soft and uh, it is uh, having a self-adhesive wiggly pads attached to it. And as mentioned earlier, it should cover less than 50% of the nares. So fission pickle OptiFlow Junior is the neonatal uh, interface we use. It has different various color coded sizes available. Maximum uh, flow we can provide is by 8 liters per, uh, per minute. The premature neonatal sizes are red and yellow as shown in the uh, picture. Uh, the nasal CPAP. The nasal CPAP is a method of delivering nasopharyngeal pressure to a spontaneously breathing neonate where the pressure is maintained throughout the respiratory cycle both in inspiration and expiration. Now, while providing the CPAP, our prerequisite is that we need to provide the pressure in the, uh, generated by the machine, the pressure in the respiratory circuit and the pr pressure provided to the patient should be equal. Uh, there could be no dissipation of the pressure, so we require a tight seal. The interfaces like Hudson prongs, Argyle prongs and the uh, short uh, binasal prongs are used to provide NCPAP. It can also be used to provide NIPPV BiPAP. Uh, RAM scannula uh, is suitable and FDA approved only for providing HFNC. It can also provide low flow and high flow oxygen. The OptiFlow cannula is exclusively used to provide HFNC. Uh, the nasal CPAP prongs, as mentioned earlier, the short and the long prongs. Uh, the short binasal prongs are the best to provide the nasal CPAP. The nasal masks are used and earlier single nasopharyngeal prongs would also be used. This is an example of nasopharyngeal prongs used for CPAP. Uh, this is the Hudson prong uh, uh, for delivery of the nasal CPAP. Uh, this is curved and it is anatomically contoured. These are the various uh, pictures. 
those are the hudson prongs the argyle prongs and fisher and pikel prongs uh, in my experience i have used quite frequently the fisher and pikel prongs they are easy to use and user friendly this is the fisher and pikel nasal mask used to provide uh, cpap uh, deliver cpap to the patient this is the simple nasal cannula in place for pre of a premature infant uh, advantages and disadvantages of common cpap patient interfaces we will be focusing on the nasal prong and the nasal mask so as mentioned earlier argyle hudson and the ifd prongs it is a short by nasal prongs these are simple low resistance devices the mouth leak acts as a pop up mechanism to uh, uh, way of the extra pressure that is provided the disadvantage is it is relatively difficult to fix, uh, fix. there is a risk of trauma to the nasal uh, septum especially by the uh, nasal prongs uh, the, and the turbinates there is leak through mouth means and end expiration pressure is variable the nasal masks they have the advantages of providing minimal nasal trauma so what uh, i have practiced in my unit was that we would shift between the fnp nasal prongs and the uh, short nasal prongs and the nasal cannula to uh, so that extra pressure is not provided to the nasal septum and there is uh, no septal damage so the optiflow nasal cannula and the rams cannula can be used to provide hfnc and short by nasal prongs and the nasal mask can be used to provide the cpap uh, here is a small video demonstration on how we can effectively select the size of the uh, FNP that I have used. So I've just put this uh, for the baby. Size. In this case, you need a light blue bonnet. Place the bonnet over the head of the baby. Make sure that the bonnet covers the ears and the nape of the neck. If no intravenous access to the head is required, gently close the bonnet with the attached ribbons so that it fits to the head. You can use either a mask or prongs. In case you are using prongs, there are graphics on the side of the measurement tape to help you find the right size. Just hold the tape under the baby's nose to measure the size and width of the nostrils. In this case, we have decided to use a mask. Mount the mask or prongs on the NCPAP generator. Please note that the angle at which the mask is mounted on the generator can be adjusted if necessary. Now, take the fixation pillow and put it between the two Velcro strips on top of the bonnet. Place the generator tubes into the opening of the fixation pillow. Close the Velcro strap tightly over the tubes. Use the fixation straps to hold the mask or prongs in place and to reduce leakage. Mount them in a V-shape on either side of the bonnet. Now, check the correct placement of the mask or the prongs. Thank you. Uh, just a word about the RAM scanula. I had mentioned in my... Uh, new PPT. Uh, the RAM scanula is the most widely used uh, cannula in our country as a substitute for providing CPAP. Uh, however, it is FDA approved only for providing high flow oxygen and low flow oxygen. Low flow oxygen will not be talking about. Uh, RAM scanula is again soft. It is uh, taper, It is uh, tapered fun funnel sh uh, shaped. It is available in various color coded sizes like uh, white for extreme prematures, uh, green for prematures, 
the blue for newborn and orange for the infant. Uh, uh, it is also effectively used. In my experience, RAMS cannula was connected to CPAP only in one instance wherein the mother had to be uh, given the baby for providing KMC. Otherwise, we would always use a short binasal prongs or a nasal mask for providing CPAP. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll have the discussion after the next presentation. Thank you. Nice presentation, Dr. Sanjay. Thank you.